Now to those tense moments for residents and tourists in the Hawaiian Islands today. A false emergency alert about a ballistic missile threat had people running for cover. Our Matt Doherty spoke with one of our own colleagues whose family was caught in the chaos this morning. My supervisor, KHU 11 Assistant News Director Josh Hubbard, has been in Maui for the past week on vacation. He and his family woke up to their last day on the island before heading back home today. But this morning turned out to be a part of their trip they probably won't ever forget. Sure, yeah, uh, was eating breakfast at 8 o'clock, around 8 o'clock on the patio. And then, you know, you hear that sound, that Amber Alert sound, that sound we all heard during Harvey when Harvey hit flash flooding that like, hey, there's something going on. And so we looked at our phone and it was, hey, there's a missile approaching. Soon after, the emergency alert was sent to everyone on the island. Frantic locals and tourists scrambled for shelter. As far as they knew, they might only have minutes left to live. First, I thought it was a false alarm. You know, I thought it was a test or something, but then right underneath it said, this is not a test, seek shelter. And so, you know, we're freaking out a little bit because North Korea isn't that far away and we're thinking anything's possible. Josh says he called the hotel's front desk. They instructed him and his family to stay put in their hotel room, but not long after that, they changed their minds. They get on the loudspeaker and they say, everyone, please go down to the basement. That's a video that I posted on, on Twitter. Please report to the lobby. So that's what they did. People in the hotel, they didn't know what to do. You know, they, they, I'm sure they thought about this, but they didn't have any plan really in place to like, okay, we're going we're gonna to get out of the way of a missile coming, coming this way. And I just wanted to know that I love you guys. We Gathered among the other frightened guests, <laughs> unsure if this was it, the day Kim Jong-un pushed the button. But luckily, somebody else mistakenly pushed a button. About 40 minutes later, Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency announced it was all an accident. One of the agency's workers hit the button unintentionally during a shift change. It was a relief for everyone on and off the island, a vacation memory that won't be forgotten anytime soon. It's pretty, it's pretty scary to everyone here. You know, everyone's here and, you know, enjoying, enjoying a great vacation or, if they, you know, you live on Hawaii and, you know, you know that this threat is possible and, uh, to have it happen like that and to be a test, it just, it's crazy. It's, it's scary to everybody.